Hello, beautiful people. Let me talk to you today. God has just downloaded this in my spirit. Like, the Lord has just, like, spoke to me as I was speaking to a dear friend. He just spoke to me. And I just want to share with you. I want you to have a new perspective of Christmas. Because after he gave this to me, I was just like, okay. I'm looking at Christmas a little different. And isn't God good? He does that to us. So we're going to focus on a sacrificial love. God downloaded that in my spirit. He said, everything surrounded of Jesus and the birth of Christ and him coming down here was about sacrifice. From the time he came from his throne to the people he chose to be his parents. Let's talk about Mary real quick. Mary, first of all, Mary and Joseph sacrificed their reputation. That's one. Mary sacrificed her entire body. Me being pregnant now, I understand what it is, y'all. To just give up your physical flesh and say, yes, I will carry the savior of the world. Like what in the world? Yes. Mary said yes. Because she's heard something a little differently. She didn't just hear it in the flesh like, um, I'm going to need you to be pregnant before you're even married. Before you even know a man. Before you even sl lay down in the bed and got your thing on with your husband. I'm going to need you to carry the savior of the world. Mary said God's asking me to do it. I'm moving in obedience. She was willing to sacrifice her body, her reputation. She was willing to give birth unassisted by herself. Y'all. Y'all. Okay? Sacrificial love. Joseph took Mary. He was getting ready to quietly dismiss him. We already know from the way that she, he was getting ready to quietly dismiss Mary that he was a humble man. That he was a man uh, he was a righteous man, and that's maybe why God, again, chose the two of them together. God never said Mary was perfect, and, and worshiping Mary and all that, that, that's not what God says in the Bible. That's not scripture-based. That's what we have come to do when we say, you know, we worship Mary. That's not biblical base. But what is, is God chose two people that were willing to sacrifice, because he sent Jesus as the ultimate sacrifice, so we gave two people he chose two people to come together and so joseph saying yes i will take care of mary i will watch over her and take care of her because i'm pretty sure back then people weren't just ready to embrace Mary. oh you're gonna have this baby out of wedlock it's so beautiful no that's not how it probably went down and maybe god even used them moving from going back to joseph's hometown as a blessing for Mary not to have all this stress while she was pregnant with Jesus. Because a lot of people probably were talking in their ears of friends and families. But the two of them were willing to be rejected for Christ. <laughs> for the savior of the world. Sacrifice. And they were even willing to wait before they came together in marriage. Because the Bible says, um, I'm going to need y'all not to, you know, get it on. Even though you're married. Wait till after Christ was born. And those of you that know after you give birth, you can't just jump right back into everything you were doing. You have to take time and heal. So there was so much sacrifice that was in place. God literally chose a sacrificial couple to bring the savior of the world. He was intentional. And so much so that, let me read this definition to y'all because I found this and whew, it was good. Agape love. Agape love. And this is an it, this is the definition I'm going to read for y'all. It is the highest form of unconditional, selfless, sacrificial love that God is and shows towards us. A fruit in the heart of a saved person. Love. Not a feeling, but as an action without expecting anything in return. You see, when Jesus came down, Mary and Joseph, when they said yes to God. They weren't expecting we we're going to be like blessed. I'm going to be known in the Bible for... No. They did this because God asked them to. Jesus did it because there was a purpose behind it. There was a sacrificial love. And in this season, I just want you to remember and harvest that. Think about all that Christ did, the things that he went through, dying on the cross. He came down here to save the world to save you and I, that we may have life and life abundant. <laughs> and that's beyond the grave. That, guess what? 
God has come so that we may be redeemed, so that we may be white as snow. The things that you've done once you come and you go before a throne and you repent, you were made clean before him. That's why he came down here to this earth, for you and for I. Is that not the greatest gift that we can receive? A sacrificial agape love. So I just want to encourage you in this season to just take all that in and just roll with that for this Christmas. Come on, roll with that for this Christmas. And just take hold of what it is that he's called us to maybe even sacrifice ourselves for him. Maybe it's the way we live or the way that we have thought. Maybe it's letting go of some things that are not even good for us. Whatever it looks like for you, I pray that you would, inc I, I want you to just go out and ask God, seek the Lord. The Bible says, seek him while he may be found, okay? And have a happy holiday. <laughs> Enjoy your Christmas. I pray that this will just minister to you. Share it with somebody that needs to hear this, that there was a gift given to you many years ago. And guess what? The gift is still yours to receive today. May God bless you and keep you. Bye, guys.